What's up, y'all? It's Matt. So I'm rebuilding my diesel Yamar tractor engine today, and I have a tip for y'all about uh, piston ring orientation. Let's check it out. All right, so you can see all the piston ring end gaps here are all lined up, and that's bad. That's not how you want to assemble it. Um, you want to stagger them. So let's see how the book says to do it. All right, so this is how the service manual says to do it. So you can see the bottom one goes here, and then the next one up goes here, next one up goes here, next one up goes here, and here's the piston. Uh, pin right here goes through the center. So they're 180 degrees apart. I'll show you what I've done to, so that you can get this right the first time. So what you want to do is get a Sharpie and just draw lines on it, right? And number them. So you can see right there, there's the pin and that's the center one. And then they're 180 degrees apart. So you see one and two are staggered, three and four are staggered. That way they never ever match up. They never line up. So you get good compression around the whole thing. Uh, this is one of those things guys will debate till they're blue in the face. Just get them staggered 180 degrees or follow the service manual that you're using to rebuild the engine. All right, so you can see four is there with that line, three is there with that line, two is in line with that, and one is in line with that. And uh, that way they're staggered. So when this thing's going, you know, bam, 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 poo, 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 poo. You know, they're gonna spin around on here and they're gonna sit wherever they wanna sit. Hopefully, you know, they spin around like that if you have a really good cylinder or sleeve and it doesn't really matter. But why not get it right from the start? It helps me sleep at night just doing it how the book says, right? Why second guess it? So this is why you wanna get your fuel settings dialed in and get the fuel system absolutely perfect, especially with a carburetor. Cause you can see this one right here it will not rotate freely because it's got all this black carbon gunk in here. And this is especially important on um, old two-stroke outboards because they'll seize the ring in there and then they'll just break because they cannot rotate. All right, so this is a four-stroke engine, so it doesn't really matter at all. But on a two-stroke, it absolutely matters because there's that exhaust port right there on the side of the cylinder. And normally, a two-stroke piston will have a pin in it, so they can't rotate. But on a four-stroke, doesn't really matter. Peace.